Greetings and welcome back to Pinball Help. I just realized the white balance on my camera was set weird, so let's hope uh, let's hope not all the videos are messed up. Anyway, I've got this uh, the player stepper unit put back together, and I'm going to demo it so you can see. Uh, let me tell you, I took the, I, I I took this armature off here. I took this armature off and cleaned it. I was really apprehensive about taking this whole assembly off because I know from experience these things are so perfectly balanced as far as the tension and the position that if you can avoid messing with it, it's best to do that. And this spring was pretty much put on there and it wasn't set up so that you could easily just unclip it. It was really literally bent into place there and I just didn't want to mess with it because it was going to be a major deal. So I wanted to see if I could clean it without completely disassembling the unit, which is always the better thing to do. Um, so I pulled the armature out and then I cleaned, I sprayed a little bit of the blaster in here. And of course, some of this stuff can be flammable. So you want to never, ever turn the machine on when you've got any kind of liquid in here. I'm going to let this thing sit for quite a while before I even turn it on. Make sure that there's no, there's nothing in here that could catch fire or anything. So I, um, I cleaned the whole thing out. And I'm going to show you how the assembly is supposed to work. And also, you know what else I noticed? Um, gravity kind of helps this thing along. If you have it tilted back at an angle and you test it and it doesn't seem to ratchet properly, that could be also, these things are just so beautifully balanced that if one little thing, if the spring is just slightly off, sometimes they don't work. And I've learned to really respect the original design and the configuration of these units and not fiddle around with them unless absolutely necessary. And that keeps everything working reliably. So I cleaned the armature, wiped things down, cleaned it a bit, and uh, I wanted to see, well, let's see how, how it's working now without having to disassemble the whole thing. So I can now demo. This coil ratchets the player unit, and this one resets it. Okay, so let's, let's demo it. Now you see this little arm right here, this little pin? This is how you can tell it's moving. The plate on the other side is moving when you see this thing move. Okay, so that's player one. So I'm going to fire the thing, see it moved up, that's player two, moved up again, player three, player four, and then it hits a switch and opens it, okay? Now, when I fire this coil up here, it should reset, so let's fire it, see, and it went back down, so it's one, two, three, four, reset, one, two, three, oops, see, it's still a little sluggish, is that all the way down? Yes. One, two, three, four. Reset. It kind of, you see it just kind of a little bit, slightly moves into home position. But, there it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little, I could possibly try to make the tension on this a little bit more, but I really don't want to. I'm just going to, I'm going to hope that if it just gets played a little bit more, it'll loosen up. If it continues to give me problems, then I know what I got to do. I'm going to have to disassemble the whole thing and clean the inside, which means possibly fiddling with this very delicately put on spring and all these other things, and I really want to avoid that. So I do have it functioning now. I can see it's functioning. Before, it wasn't even ratcheting because this, was, this, this, this armature here was so gunked up. So it is working. Uh, so now I know if I put this thing together and it starts doing multiplayer games and I start to have any further problems with multiplayers, then I'm going to have to break down and I'm probably going to have to take the whole unit apart. But I'm going to take a minimalist approach initially and just see if it can get it working without having to disassemble the whole thing because these things are so old and I, you know, just don't want to introduce any additional problems. The objective here is to get these games working. Uh, so... That's where we're at. I'm hopeful. I'm going to clean this up a little bit, screw it in place, let it sit, make sure that if there's that, uh, any of that, that cleaner on here is dried completely. And uh, I, I wasn't using anything that was super flammable anyway, but don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to let it dry before I even turn the machine on and test it. So that's it. For more, visit my website, pinballhelp.com. I've got a Facebook page. There's even a Reddit, a subreddit called slash r slash pinballhelp. Come on by, uh, let me know that you appreciate the videos and everything. Thanks for watching.